You are a very good content creator, but if you want to be great, you need to do some math. Today, we're going to dive into a great new analytical tool called Streambee, and it's going to show you how you can get an edge on everybody else. discovered as a content creator is always a difficult thing for instance did you know that the video you're watching right now you can like and share this and leave a comment below you can also follow me on twitch you can follow me on twitter you can follow me on tiktok and i do stream live on youtube and tiktok as well make sure you turn on notifications on both those platforms streamby is a startup based out of the czech republic that builds actionable insights and business intelligence for content creators led by martin and jacob bloxa and matei kakukja streamby was built from the ground up to help you make better streaming decisions and one of the most important things about streamby it's absolutely free streamby allows you to connect twitch and your other social media accounts into one dashboard so you can look at everything in one place and make actionable decisions it gives you tips on ways you can improve and even tells you where you can make clips where clips weren't actually made based on engagement and activity in your chat and because it's tracking all your social media accounts as well you can see where if you make changes to your social media accounts where it might have had an effect on twitch and vice versa and now let's actually go and take a look at it so getting started with streamby is actually pretty easy on the main page, you want to click get started, and then you just want to log in with your Twitch. Streamby will start tracking your Twitch data as soon as you sign up in your after your next stream. So when you first go in there, you won't see any data. You have to start streaming first. Once streams start recording in Streamby, you will see them listed on the dashboard as soon as you go in. Left hand side of the screen, we have last stream, past streams, growth, what to stream, when to stream. When you're analyzing a stream, you have a few different ways you can look at the data. At the top, you can see multiple tabs. There's an overview which gives you a five minute interval breakdown of everything that happened in your stream. You have an engagement tab, a viewers tab, bod review, and top clips. All right, when we're talking about your stream review, there's a lot of things you can look at on this overview tab. You have the time slot with the hours that you actually streamed, how many hours were watched, how many subscribers you gained, followers you gained, as well as the percent difference from the previous stream. You have how many clips were made, how many chat messages, where your average directory position was and that does change over the course of the time you were streaming and how many peak viewers you have. Now this chart will show all of those same data points but over the five minute interval of the entire time you were streaming so you can see how they changed. And at the bottom of this page are the clips that were made during the stream. Back at the top for each one of these charts here you can actually go in and see additional details. For instance on the average directory positioning data you can see here by every five minutes where I landed in that category. Now I stream just chatting, so it's a very saturated category. Interesting thing that I noted was that my position changed drastically within every five or 10 minute position. For instance, here we are at 20 minutes into my stream and I am 628. Five minutes later, I drop all the way down to 1,706th position. And 10 minutes later, I move up to 996th position. One thing I really like is that for each of the data points we're gonna look at, Streamby will actually show you some tip to try to improve it. This was an interesting chart. It shows my chat messages. And if you'll notice at the very end here for the last 20 minutes of the stream, I had no chatters. That's because I rated out and did not end stream. So Streamby also calculates a stream performance based on a number of factors. I actually had a worse performance on my second stream when I was using this tool because I forgot to include tags which they very nicely reminded me of in their tip. Here is an overview of the stream with all of those major data points combined. One thing that's interesting to notice is this dip here, which some of you may not want to see, and I can't say that I particularly want to see this. This is where so during my stream, someone decided to unfollow me, just nah, now nah, we're, we're, we're good. Now I'll move over to the engagement tab, which is definitely one of my favorite tabs to look at in Stream B. What Stream B does is they use the frequency of chatting to determine how engaged your actual stream is. What Stream B does is they take the activity of chat to determine how engaged your audience is. And they break it into five categories. Super chatters, which are people that have sent 100 plus messages. Engaged chatters are people that have sent 11 to 99. Casual chatters are 2 to 10 not engaged chatters who have sent one and lurkers who have not sent any chat messages during your stream. Here I can see where my highest engagement was and how that corresponds to the interactions of concurrent viewers. On the next tab, we have our viewer statistics, 
and it shows right at the top the breakdown between the regular and your new viewers. One of the best stats to look at on the viewer tab is the retention rate of the people in your chat. One of the most important things that I was looking at is the bounce rate. Anybody who was in your chat for less than five minutes. I had 13% on this stream, which is definitely something I'm going to want to try to correct by looking at the other data in stream B. One thing to keep in mind is that stream B is recording this data from the time that you sign up, not from all of time. So the data will change pretty frequently as you continue gathering streams and they start seeing more viewers come back on a regular basis. Now we're on the VOD review tab and this tab is really interesting the way they set it up. They look at your every section of your VOD and they look at all those other data points that I showed you before. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna tell you based on the interactivity, based on the chat engagement, what was a good time for your stream and what was a not so good time, indicated by the red, yellow, and green icons you see on the screen. For example, here's a point about 48 minutes into my stream, which they classified as negative because I had six people leave and my active directory position dropped as well as my chat messages. But five minutes later, my viewership went up about 19% to 86, and I had more unique people chatting. I believe I got rated this time, which is why it went back up. So the last app we're gonna look at is the clip and clip worthy tab. What StreamB is doing here is they're not gonna look at just what clips were taken. They're gonna look at the parts of your stream where it was most interactive, where viewership was most engaged, and where they're putting more emotes in chat, whatever it is. And they're gonna say, hey, you might want to take a clip here because it looks like people were really enjoying what was going on. It's a pretty cool feature. So while there were three clips taken during the stream, you can see that they identified a number of other spots where I could potentially make a clip because something was good because chat was very active at those times. You'll also notice that they show that timestamp on the screen. And if you want to make a clip for it, all you have to do is click on it and go to Twitch and make a clip. And at the bottom of the page, they actually will show you the top clip worthy moments indicated by the icons on that timeline above. And you can just click on this. And like I said, it brings you right to Twitch and you can go and make the clip right there and download it if you want to. Moving down on the menu on the left, we have the growth tab, and this is gonna show you your social media accounts and your Twitch account and how they are growing over time. So you can see here, I have hooked up my Twitch, YouTube, Discord, Twitter, TikTok, to here, and you can see that they have a lot of stats which are very valuable. One thing I really like, and they don't advertise this, is to me, this looks like the starts of a media kit. I really think you could probably take a snapshot of this and use it as a media kit if you want. Maybe down the road, StreamB could actually create something where you could export a PDF or something like that. Hint, hint, StreamB team, um, to make this a really functional media kit. The last two categories are what to stream and when to stream. What to stream is very similar to how Silly Gnome works. I have not had enough recorded streams to show any data in here, but it will give you suggestions on what you need to stream. As far as when to stream, this is tracking the days of the week and the times of the day that I stream, comparing them hour by hour so that I have an idea of, oh, okay, it looks like Wednesdays at a certain time is better for me than others. And also in the when to stream tab, there is a tab called what data stream, and it will show you based on the stats from is collected over time in terms of how many followers, how many subs, all of that kind of data. It will show you Mondays up before Wednesdays, Wednesdays up before Fridays, and so on and so forth, helping you further make decisions on what to do and when best to do it on Twitch. As you can see, StreamB has a lot to offer any streamer that wants to grow and use analytics and business intelligence to do so. And we'll be covering a lot of those features in future videos on this channel. If you are looking to grow and you need some help, my company, Elevated Media, which has a link below, will help you grow as a creator. And we actually will be using Streamby in part of the lessons that we teach any streamers and content creators that come through the program. If you like this video today, please leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment below, much appreciated. And as always, be smart, stay safe.